What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite for an emergency video during the wee hours of the night. We have the official season one gameplay trailer for Black Ops 6. Yes, it is official and was posted by one of the Call of Duty Twitter accounts, which I believe has now taken down the tweet. It was the Australian Call of Duty account that probably scheduled the trailer at the wrong time by mistake. But for those reposting it over online, it looks like it's safe to talk about and break down since no copyright strikes have been given out. But with that being said, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below drop a like and as a big reminder there's plenty of brand new articles also going up on detonated.com for those who want to stay up to date with all things call of duty in just a couple of hours from now i'll be live streaming a full breakdown and reaction to the season one blog post and what is likely going to be a roadmap really crossing my fingers that black ops 6 gets the dlc season off to a banger start as both cold war and mw3 really did set the bar for post-launch support now jumping right into the trailer obviously a full rest version is going to be dropped on the Call of Duty YouTube channel probably in around 12 hours from now, but you can see a nice look at Area 99, the upcoming resurgence experience for Warzone. The Warzone integration, of course, will be dropping on November the 14th with the start of the first season, but you get to see a nice new skin for Troy Marshall. You also get to see the main Battle Pass operator, Savati Dumas, a very important character from the single player campaign. I made another video about six, seven hours ago talking about the cover art that actually did leak out for the first season. Season. that's also circulating everywhere over the internet and on top of that you can also see motorcycles being utilized here inside of warzone which you really haven't seen in the current iteration of warzone at all on top of that we got a nice look at a brand new c9 blueprint of course for the smg in game we'll get another look at this blueprint later on in the trailer but we also get a nice preview of several new operator skins including what looks like a punk type of skeleton and we get some nice clips of omni movement being utilized in warzone again it looks like it's going to be a one-to-one -to, -one to exactly how the movement works in campaign, multiplayer, and even zombies. Also got a look at another skin with a white mask and somebody else wearing a suit, so there could be some casino-looking outfits similar to that campaign level we did get that took place over in Avalon. And we could also see what appears to be confirmation that the Advanced Technologies and Applications Company has something to do here with Area 99 and the birthplace of Nuketown. That was a very important company that we actually visited during the Emergence campaign mission which was by far one of the coolest levels in the single player. We also get to see ATVs, a black mask looking skin, and also a pinkish looking blooper. And again, typically these gameplay trailers do give us a preview of just some of the upcoming operator skins or cosmetics that could be featured in a battle pass or some upcoming bundles. We also get to see that really nice looking C9 blueprint again. It's very orange themed, which is pretty cool. And we get to see some helicopters. And again, that trailer type moment where an ATV hits the helicopter reminds me of the end of the blackout trailer back from BO4 several years ago. We could also see the nice Cerberus-themed Polaris Razor. I got to ride in one of these right after the COD Next event, and it did confirm for us that, yes, the Polaris Razor is meant to return with the Black Ops 6 integration. We could also see what looks like a new operator skin for Maya, the Zombies operator, who is currently playable in every game mode of your choice, apart from Warzone, because the integration hasn't happened yet. But on top of that, we also get to see another suited character with what looks like a gas mask. So we got a nice look at what could be some of the skins we're going to be seeing through the battle pass, but it's unclear if we got to see the new Black Cell operator. Maybe one of these characters is from Black Cell. Again, as of now, it's still unclear, and these trailers typically don't show everything when it comes to the cosmetic side, so if you're a bit underwhelmed or were expecting something else when it comes to skins or blueprints, definitely make sure you guys wait for additional marketing when the official reveal happens. Now, as you guys may have seen, I got to play Area 99 a little bit early over at COD Next, and I had a lot of fun playing the map, so I'll put some extra gameplay clips on screen so you guys can see but once warzone does integrate with black ops 6 we're going to be looking at all the progression leveling and prestige systems merged into the warzone experience it's just unclear how that is going to affect your modern warfare content we'll circle back to that in a second but i also made a video about a month and a half ago talking about how the black ops 6 warzone integration is essentially restoring warzone 1 in the sense that we're getting a classic inventory and backpack system a lot of great quality of life updates that maybe we were missing over the last year and a half are also coming Coming back and they're also going to be introducing a pick three perk system which is kind of a spin-off on pick 10 in a way but exclusively for warzone and also does change how the perk system does work here in battle royale and resurgence i'll post an additional video over the course of this weekend talking more about some upcoming patch notes and additional quality of life changes that haven't really been discussed anywhere online that i know i got to learn a little bit more about when i was over in dc but urzikstan is also going to be getting omni movement support alongside area 99 
Shine. We're going to be looking at big map lockdown for Urzikstan and even rank play support finally within Season 1. On top of that, if you guys are wondering what's going to happen to Rebirth and Fortune's Keep, I'm going to guess those maps are going to be temporarily vaulted until they end up maybe adding Omni Movement support to either of those two maps or maybe even both, which probably won't happen until the mid-season or at some point after the new year. Now, Area 99 is, of course, a resurgence map, but it's unclear if they're ever going to add in some type of rank support since we currently do have ranked play over on Rebirth. I know that's concluded as of now, but that existed for several months, and I think Champion's Quest will probably also make its way to Area 99, likely during the first season as well. But if you're wondering, what about a big new Battle Royale map? Well, as of now, we know that Verdansk is heavily rumored for Season 3-ish, right around the five-year anniversary of Warzone, which of course came out back in 2020, and then Avalon, a big space that has played a pretty large role in the campaign and is about to play a large role in multiplayer, that apparently will become a Battle Royale playable space with Season 1 of the next Call of Duty, which is around a year from now, so we'll have to circle back to that rumor once we get closer to that, but also as a reminder, with the release of Black Ops 6, COD HQ got a bit of a makeover, right? On top of the new UI, they've also separated Warzone from the premium Call of Duty download, meaning if you don't want to go ahead and download Warzone Season 1, you don't have to. You're still going to have to download Black Ops 6 Season 1, but Battle Royale and Resurgence will remain separate from campaign multiplayer and zombies, which is a bit different from the way Warzone has been handled in recent years. On top of that, there'll be a seamless transition when jumping into Warzone. As you can see from the menu that I got to preview over at COD Next, Warzone will be sitting right next to campaign MP and zombies in the main Black Ops 6 title screen, whereas right now, if you want to play Warzone, you have to cross-launch into it, similar to how you have to do that with MW3. Warzone is going to be detached fully from MW3 and will be seamlessly integrated with the brand new COD HQ UI. Now, don't forget, you can use code DYNAMITE to save 10% off any order over at Control Freak, including for the brand new Black Ops 6 Edition thumbsticks, which do come with an in-game charm. The code is in the packaging, and you'll also get a collector's coin for every purchase made through their site. But I also partner with Steel Series, who just came out with the Mr. Peaks Booster Pack for their Arctis Nova headset. They also came out with a Monkey Bomb mouse pad and even more. You can also use code DYNAMITE to save upwards of 12% off your order. Now, for those that are still confused, I just want to clarify this one more time. Even when Black Ops 6 integrates with Warzone, and regardless of what Black Ops 6 adds to Warzone, your Modern Warfare content will still be usable just within Warzone, though. You won't be able to take any of your Modern Warfare 2 or 3 content into Black Ops 6, but you can still use any of those cosmetics, operators, and weapons while playing Urzikstan or Area 99. And then, eventually, if they bring back Rebirth or Fortune's Keep, then you can also use your content there on top but of that. But it remains to be seen if Modern Warfare content will ever be vaulted? Will it come to a point where there's just too many games worth of content in one single Warzone experience? That's what I'm really wondering about because maybe there will come a time where they're like, hey, we're going to vault MW content or limit usage on that content to a specific map and then focus on just a few of the newer Call of Duty titles and those integrations with some of the newer Warzone maps that come out. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the early gameplay trailer for Season 1 of Black Ops 6 and Warzone? Obviously, we've gotten a preview so far of some of the MP maps and then we saw the key art and now we have a bit of an early preview thanks to the Australian Call of Duty Twitter account, which posted it a little bit early, but it still seems safe to break down, as I said early on. Leave all your thoughts down below. Really hope you've enjoyed, and peace out, everybody.